There's an energy bubbling up mm -hmm. within the abdominal cavity on the right side. Very good. So let's find out what word, what emotion is attached to that area. Attention stems from the back. It's trying to come forward. Mm -hmm. It's trying to come forward to get attention, to get healing, to get released. Mm -hmm. Where it's is the this? burden? It's the burden in the right back. Mm -hmm. it comes on anytime Melissa takes on the burden of others. Mm -hmm. Where did this stem from? Where did this come from? Why is she putting that burden on her back? It's her work, it's her job. Mm -hmm. Tell her why she created this. She doesn't like to see suffering in others, she wants to clear it. Mm -hmm. But is she actually clearing it? it? It tends to trap, get trapped. Mm -hmm. um, when she's not doing her work on her own, it sits, sits there, manifests into back pain. Mm -hmm. What does this back pain look like? It's a grasping. It's just just holds her. Mm -hmm. Is it heavy? It's tight. It's tight. So what would it look like? It's like just a huge cable, mm -hmm. just massive cable, smaller cables. Mm -hmm. And where are these cables attached to? Just various other burdens that people carry. Mm -hmm. is, she is she kind of attaching them to her? Unknowingly, yes. Mm -hmm. So how many of these cables does she have? Innumerable. Mm -hmm. I can count them, but it would take up time. Mm -hmm. So does she need to carry all of these people's burdens? She's conflicted. She wants to help others. Mm -hmm. But not in a way that, that it needs to affect her. Okay. So wouldn't it be easier for her to just be able to handle and perhaps just give advice and not attach all of these cables to her? That would be best. Mm -hmm. So, is she willing and able now to disconnect all of these cables? Yes. All right. So, what would we like to use today to disconnect and sever all of these connections to we, these people? Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. So, I'd like to call forward Archangel Michael with his blue flame sword. And I'd like for Archangel Michael to begin severing all of those cords in one swoop. so strong. Mm -hmm. Tell me what he's doing. He just took it with a light touch and pulled it away with effortlessly taking his sword and disconnecting. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for him to go ahead and disconnect all of those cables from the other people too. We can't just have her disconnected. Disconnected from all of those people so that they don't have those cables anymore so that they are free themselves to work on their own problems. And by disconnecting them, they are free now. And let me know when he's done. He's taken them off. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now that we have all of those cables disconnected, I'd like for Archangel Raphael to step forward and begin healing all of that area that was burdened with those cables with his beautiful green light. Feel the soothing sensation as his green light penetrates all of those areas where she had all of these burdens attached to her like a wonderful ointment of green light, sealing all of that area. And let me know how that her back looks now. There's a space there. Mm -hmm. 
What does this space contain? It's an emptiness. Mm -hmm. What does that emptiness need to be filled with? Purpose. Very good. So let's find out what the purpose is. She wants to have purpose. Mm -hmm. So being that she came here with that purpose, I'd like for you now to assist her in going back to the time when she was with her guides, determining why she was here, why she would come to Earth in this incarnation, what purpose she had. So I'm going to count from five down to one. And when I get to number one, I'd like for you to see where this purpose began. Five, going back in time now. Four, before this incarnation. Three, almost there. Two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? Allow the images to come. Is it like a starburst? Mm hmm. Starburst. Tell me more. It's an emanation of light. It's a birthing. Mm hmm. Tell me more. It's an enfoldment of potential. It's the star seems to be reaching out to many, many potential destinations. Seeking out guidance for the next step. Mm -hmm. And what is the next step? The choice is ultimately mine. Mm -hmm. But with the guide's help, the decision was made for healing. What kind of healing are we talking about? Spiritual healing. Mm -hmm. She resonates with Mother Mary because Mother Mary was a nurturing, mm -hmm. loving presence. Mm -hmm. And it was a conflicting understanding because of her Catholic education mm -hmm. and the guilt that was associated and the mixed messages she got from that. Mm -hmm. Was that the net that was represented that she saw last time? Mother Mary was her guide when she was in the net mm -hmm. to remind her that she was safe despite the confusion that she was always being guided, mm -hmm. but had to go through that confusing state where it felt like a net, it felt like imprisonment to try. When Melissa was trying to find truth and trust the authorities that were in place before her, but she knew at a soul level it didn't resonate as her truth. So the net was a trap in that time where she had to stay to learn. She's not in that net anymore. Mm -hmm. It was just a reminder? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Who are the other guides that are helping her besides Mother Mary? Native American comes to mind. Mm -hmm. 
Would you show her a picture of that Native American? Mm -hmm. He's big and strong. He's pure love, pure bliss. Mm -hmm. So strong. Does he have a name? There's thunder. Mm -hmm. There's foot. Maybe Thunderfoot. Mm -hmm. Say the name and see if it resonates. Thunderfoot. I see a feather when I say that name. Mm -hmm. Thunderfoot feather. He's he's strong but gentle. Mm -hmm. So what is Thunderfoot's role in Melissa's life? She's strong but gentle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's he reminds her. But that's that's we're t we're one. We are one. Mm -hmm. Are there any other guides? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Archangel Raphael. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do they do for her? What's their role in her life? Jesus is her protector brings her back to love when she she takes on when she takes on the energies of the world that doesn't settle right that don't settle right he's her reminder and protector her reminder that she can go back to a place of love always mm -hmm. but always a protector how is he protecting her now? In light. His presence is pure light. It's a healing light. It helps her when she takes on any of the darker, lower, negative energies. It's there. For her to cleanse herself and purify herself in but she sets the intention to do that mm -hmm. anything that Jesus would like to tell her today as before know that I'm always with you whether you're whether you say my name or whether you feel worthy or not of my presence, I'm there with you always. We are one. You don't have to be a perfect person to be one with Jesus. You're going through different events, different energies, different experiences as a part of your soul's growth. Don't feel a disconnect just because you're going through a difficult time or because you behave or respond or react in less than the highest vibration. You're always worthy of love. You're always worthy of being fully healed. And you're always worthy of being an instrument of healing for others. Is that a purpose? That Healing. is a chosen purpose, mm -hmm. yes. Very good. Thank you, Jesus. What about Archangel Raphael? What is his role in her life? He's a guide when Melissa is doing healings. She can utilize his energy to heal others. Does he have any advice for her? Fully embrace your faith that you are always connected. Just tune in to feel that energy and tune in to utilize that energy 
as a channel to others so that they can heal themselves. She can tap in anytime she wants. She's still shedding the belief systems that she endured to get to where she is today so that she could understand others. She's shedding it and she's kind of holding on to it like an old friend. Why is that? Because it feels She still, she still battles with wanting to please others. So she wants to hold on to the belief systems to please the others. Mm -hmm. Does this fall in the same kind of uh, thing as the sugar? Not wanting to give that up either. Sugar was used to feed, and it was used to comfort. Mm -hmm. And by giving up sugar, there's a big belief system out there also that you need sugar. That's not something that she believes in. Okay. So can we do something today? to finally have her disconnect from this need to please others, to bring that now inwards to where she can please herself. She welcomes that. Mm -hmm. So give her a picture in her mind now of what it would look like in the future as she steps through this new beginning. I'd like for you to see yourself in a mirror and let's see what you look like as the healer that you came here to be. What does she look like? Pure light. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to see this pure light and those around you that are supporting you and see yourself now in the future assisting others, <clears throat> showing them the way as the light that you are. Because we're not here to take on the darkness of others. We're here to shed the light on them so that they can then light up. It's almost like a candle. The candle just lights up the area, but as you light up others, it allows them to fill in their areas of light. So as a healer, we're not here so much to heal them, but for them to allow themselves to heal. This is truth. Mm -hmm. So give her that picture in her mind as she lights up all of these others to allow them to heal themselves. They all have the switch. She just switches it on. Mm -hmm. So what's the next step for her, this beautiful light? She'll take a little time to help her son for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, she's releasing, she's shedding, stepping into owning her light. Mm -hmm. Very good. Would you tell Melissa why it is that she chose this challenge, this motherhood challenge, what are these little teachers teaching her? They are pure light and love. And she'll see that when she's pure light and love. When she's not, they remind her of what she needs to work on. Mm -hmm. So why is there so much stubbornness, so much resistance in these children? It's her stuff. Mm -hmm. It's her stuff. So what does she need to work on in order for them to release the resistance and the stubbornness? 
We go back to the worthiness. Mm -hmm. That's the core element to work on. She needs to just have faith and believe when she hears it, that it's not just for others, that it's for herself too. Mm -hmm. Everyone is worthy of love. When you don't have that understanding, it brings up anger and fear and rage and sadness and depression and addictions and you know, misdirection on the path. And if everybody just knew that they're all worthy of love, true love, it's always there for them. No matter what experiences they've had, no matter what they've been through, no matter what challenges they currently have, they're always worthy of love. Very good. Now I'd like for you to continue scanning her body and let's see if there's any areas of her body that still need extra attention. She's been feeling a sensation on her head, mm -hmm. her right side, right top side of her head, that she's been curious about. What is that sensation? What is going on there? Is this a thought form or an attachment? It's an attachment. All right. Would you allow me to speak with this entity today and see how we can assist? Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'm going to take my hand over that area and bring that energy down, down, down. You can express yourself today. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What may I call you, please? Dissension. What is it? Dissension. Dissension. Can you tell me how old you are? How old do you feel? Ancient. Ancient. How long have you been there with Melissa? I've come to the surface in the recent months. Mm -hmm. Why is that? For understanding. Mm -hmm. What is it that you need to understand? What happened to you? I'm laying down. Mm -hmm. Where are you laying down? Look around you. What happened to your body? An explosion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. There was an explosion that propelled me to crash into the surface that I lie on. Mm -hmm. Where did you come from? Where were you? Yeah. Barn. Mm -hmm. There was some kind of explosion. Inside the barn? Or outside? It was a tractor. A tractor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened with the tractor? It blew up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Were you on the tractor? I was near it. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Seventeen. And what is your name, please? Darren. Darren. Darren, what year is it, please? 1710. 1710? Mm -hmm. So, Darren, how long has it been since you've been with Melissa? When did you find her? Seventeen. Seventeen. What was going on in her life at that time that attracted you to her? Feeling dissension. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. She 
she was trying to be her true self. She was being told from all sides how to be, what to feel, what not to feel. And you took advantage of that? It matched. Mm -hmm. So what have you been doing to Melissa all this time? Keeping her in that place of confusion. Telling her that she needed to be something that she wasn't. Mm -hmm. What was that doing for you, Darren? Validating how I feel. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be better, Darren, for you to feel better? Mm -hmm. Darren, all of this time, you could have gone home. Why didn't you? I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. Are you ready now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Darren, inside of you is a spark of light. This is the God spark. This is the light that created you. Find that light for me, please, and tell me when you see it. See it. I'd like for you to expand that light bigger and bigger and tell me how it feels as you expand it. Warmth. Mm -hmm. Make it even bigger. Make it as big as a star. How does that feel? Safe. Mm -hmm. Taryn, this is the love of God, the love of the Creator. This is where you need to go. What would you like to say to Melissa now that you understand the safe feeling knowing that you have taken that from her all this time? I am so sorry. To take a deep breath in, Melissa, what would you like to tell Darren? Do you accept this? Yeah, I thought it was my own. Mm -hmm. Can you release it now and allow him to go on his own path? Mm -hmm. Very good. So, Darren, I'd like for you now, now knowing that Melissa has forgiven you, begin pulling from the roots all of your attachment to her body. And, Melissa, I'd like for you to go in there and disconnect anything left. And tell me when it's done. Darren, I'd like for you now to fill that space with that white light. Now that it's all disconnected, I'd like for you to completely replace it with that white light. And as you do, I'd like for you now to go up through the top of her head. Feel yourself going up through the top of her head. Archangel Michael is waiting for you. Take all of your energy and follow him home to the light. And tell me when you get there, please. There. Very good. Is there anyone there to greet you? It's a huge crowd of mm. people. Very good. Darren, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Now I'd like for Archangel Raphael to step forward and please fill that space with that beautiful healing green light. Fill that space completely. Feel the wonderful, soothing green light, healing that space and sending that light to any other area of the body that still needs extra attention. And tell me when he's done. It's done. Very good. Do you see any other areas in our body that need attention today? Very good. Now, Melissa had questions about the new earth. Can you tell her a little bit about that? The split that she sees is light and dark. Mm -hmm. It's a choice. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. You choose the light, you choose the dark. And what is the difference between the, the earth where it's dark 
and the earth when it's light. The earth where it's dark is a carrying of burdens. It's confusion. It's illness, disease. It's the heavy emotions. The light is freedom. The light is a releasing of all of those burdens. We're all meant to be released of those burdens, but it's a choice as to when you do it. Mm -hmm. And we've been hearing about this event for the Ascension. What is this event all about? The event is the incoming of the energies that are there for those who choose to utilize those energies to heal, to release, to enlighten, to guide, if one chooses. Mm -hmm. Are those energies already here? They've been coming. Mm -hmm. They're coming in greater amounts and higher frequencies. But they've been coming. Mm -hmm. And how do you know if you've been touched by some of these energies? How would you know the difference? You might have new aches and pains. Mm -hmm. You might face challenges that you faced all along, but in greater intensities. For some, it might just be a shift, an ever so subtle shift in the direction on their path where they've been seeking. It can be intense or it can be subtle. Everyone is in tune at different levels. Mm -hmm. And why would we choose something like a challenge? Challenges are there for something concrete to make you face something that you need to release. Mm -hmm. And you say that these challenges have been, these uh, waves have been happening for a while now. How long has this, has this been happening on Earth, these energies? Well... Go back in history, you can go back to the 70s, mm. you can go back beyond that, but the 70s is really when it, it came to a conscious level. Mm -hmm. Is this with the hippie movement? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It came in greater intensities again in the earlier part. 2012, 13, mm -hmm. in and around that time. Mm -hmm. Is this why so many people have been waking up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how is this energy affecting Melissa? It's absolutely waking her up. It's always been there for her, but she has accepted it on a conscious level now. Mm -hmm. So the work isn't being done for her by higher beings. She's choosing to tap into those energies and do the work herself. Mm -hmm. So what is it that she's doing to help? She's trying to have an awareness through physical issues that come up in her own body or physical issues that come up in the bodies of those that she comes in t encounter with, mm -hmm. she encounters. Okay. Do you have any advice for her as these waves get perhaps get stronger? To work on those things that come up and really tune into the emotions, the stories that are there. Mm -hmm. When she tunes in and she inquires, she gets answers. Trust the answers. Those answers come from a higher place, from the higher soul. Trust the answers. Now she told me that the other day, 
when she began using all of the different modalities during her yoga, that people were moved to tears. Can you tell me what was happening in that room? There were a lot of beings in that room. She called in the beings of those who were present. She called in the guides. She called in the healing energies. And they were all there. Mm -hmm. So what do you... What advice would you like to give Melissa in the future as she moves forward with these new modalities that she's learning? Her fear was of the resistance of others in accepting and believing, and that's why she had to go through that herself. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to concern herself with those who are resistant to the healing. That is just a step in their path. Even if there's resistance, there's healing happening. That resistance is healing. It's an awareness. Mm -hmm. And are there any other modalities that she should look into to assist her in the future? She likes to seek them all out. Mm -hmm. She is really resonating with cellular healing, so if she wants to explore that more, she can work with that. She can work with what she has now. But if she gets bored or if she feels like she wants to go to another level, she can learn the more quantum-based modalities. Mm -hmm. And Archangel Raphael is helping her with these. He's always with her. Mm -hmm. Good. Anything else that you would like to tell Melissa today? Perhaps something I haven't asked that you would like to tell her? She tries so hard to get the word out without calling attention to herself, to others, that they are so worthy of love. She wants to announce it to the world. She wants to start with a license plate. Mm -hmm. It's okay. She can do that. <laughs> it's okay if people see it and recognize it. And she can be noticed um, as a messenger. She's worthy of love. She knows it. She's working on that. She wants to tell others so much because she knows she needs to hear it for herself first. Mm -hmm. And then she wants to shout it from the top of the world. So she's actually channeling her higher self when she's telling other people, isn't she? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that she could hear it herself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other tips or advice you would like to give her? Just be okay with where you're at. Settle into that. That's the flow. Mm -hmm. You don't have to reach. Just flow with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who is it that she channels? Who am I speaking with today? You have a combination you have her higher soul. Mm -hmm. You have the essence of Jesus, the essence of Mary, the essence of Archangel Michael, the essence of Raphael. And then just energies that you can't name, you mm -hmm. can't put a name to. Mm -hmm. All of them have been helping her today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are they satisfied with the information that has come forward today? We want to give a message of peace. If you focus on the chaos, if you focus on the negativity, if you focus on the falsities, you won't feel peace. Choose peace. Know that you're worthy of peace. It is yours. Receive it. Receive the peace. Turn away from the negative. There are no answers there. Whatever the negative is, that is not your truth. That is not anybody's truth. There's peace. There's love. That is truth. Thank you very much. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you. 
wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Wow. That was nice. It was nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did your body feel? It's been vibrating. Mm. There's been a lot of warmth. And that just something I can't describe. <laughs> it's like... Is it bubbly? Bubbly. Fuzzy. <laughs> There, there are no words. <laughs> uh, that's good. Now, how does this differ from the other one? Totally different? Yeah. Yeah. Just, we're not linear. No. Mm -hmm. You can receive from all, there's no word. Mm -hmm. You can receive from everywhere, infinity. Yeah. It was great. I, I thought it was really... Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. You got some great answers and yeah. you went everywhere. Yeah. Went good. All right. So you want to keep this personal? You know, if if you see something in that that's going to be helpful, I'll share. It's up to you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll share. All right. So, we're here in Charlotte, North Carolina, mm -hmm. and Melissa just had a really nice session. And this was your second session, yes. Melissa, so tell everybody how, how different this one was. Um, this one was felt a, a lot deeper. The other one I had uh, little questions. I call them little questions now because I realize no matter what challenges we have, they're all little, even though they seem immense. Yes. So you came here with a totally different, totally different questions. You had very few questions, actually. Yeah, yeah. What was the reason why you chose to have less questions now? Because I really wanted to allow the information that was meant to come through to come through. I didn't want to orchestrate it. Um, I just wanted to really tap into the higher soul mm -hmm. and hear, hear what needed to be said. Yeah, and do you feel that we did that this time? I do. Yeah. I really do. So how does your body feel? It's shaking right now. <laughs> it's vibrating. Um, uh, I feel like I need to drink a gallon of water, and I th mm. think that topic came up. Um, yes. So you I need think, to flush all that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So do you recommend this to other people? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Beyond the shadow of a doubt. Yeah. And uh, I know that the first time you were in Miami... Mm -hmm. And we did some work. I don't remember. We were in Atlanta. Oh, we're in Atlanta. Atlanta. Yes. Oh, wow. We scheduled in my, we shifted around. But last year we were in my um, I have no Atlanta. idea where I am. I'm not grounded. <laughs> <laughs> so we had our first session. Mm -hmm. And what made you want to have the second one? It was instantaneous. So I think it came from a higher place. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think about it. I, I, I didn't think about it at all. And I feel very fortunate to have... Um, been able to have another appointment because yeah. I know it's a rarity. Yeah, and and in fact, Melissa was not scheduled to to be here. She's from Charlotte, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, you had scheduled for a different place, and then we moved her. We yeah. moved her again yes. because I do like to see people where they live, mm -hmm. and uh, it ended up being really perfect because you'd had a career change and everything yes. during that time yeah. where we were moving around. Yeah, I think a lot of changes needed to happen before mm -hmm. I could could go deeper and um and it was nice to do you feel you were deeper this time absolutely yeah, yeah. totally and yeah. every time you do have hypnosis it's like riding a bicycle the first time you have it you may be a little oh, i'm not sure if i was in deep enough but then yeah. every time you have hypnosis you're going deeper and deeper and mm -hmm. uh we did and i always try to do everything differently <laughs> with people we had a totally different beginning with, with what we did yeah we did actually yeah, yeah i kind of surprised her yeah so, you did yeah <laughs> so uh that's what i like to do because if you know it's coming it's not a surprise anymore so mm -hmm. we did surprise you with a totally different beginning and mm -hmm. i think that helped you too yeah i mean to me i don't really feel like i wanted to know past lives mm -hmm. so i don't know if you tuned into that but um we went a totally different path yeah. Yeah. And it worked. It did. We did go into different things, but mm -hmm. that was it. Yeah. So if you'd like a session with me, you can go to my website, albawyman.com. Go to the out-of-town page. On the bottom, you're going to see uh, to sign up for my newsletter. That's the only way you get a session right now. I send out a newsletter about once a month to tell you what I have open. 
right now I'm booked way into a few months from now. And uh, when I send out that l newsletter, make sure you click on those links immediately because there are a lot, a lot of people yeah. get, who get that newsletter at the same time. And I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. And I hope you enjoyed this one. This was a totally different type of session. And uh, I liked it. I liked I, it. Yeah. So I hope I get to meet you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye. And I get that hug. Ooh.